Hi guys, this is Crowd Investing. In today's stock analysis, we're going to look at this stock is Intercontinental Exchange. The ticker is ICE. This is the reason that I look at this stock because I found that from this stock since 2010 until today, this stock is all the way in the uptrends. And then I feel that this is a very defensive and predictable stock that to put in your portfolio. Okay, let's talk about this stock. This stock is the Intercontinental Exchange on the New York Stock Exchange NYSE. So this means that as long as the New York Stock Exchange is there, this stock will be forever be there. So uh basic information of this company, the big is ICE, is listed in the NYSE, New York Stock Exchange, founded in 2000s, and then the industry is an exchange and data. Sector is a diversified financial and the market cap is about 66.22 billion and then the share outstanding is 56 million and then this is a company website. Okay, uh, introduction of this company. Okay, Intercontinental Exchange is an American company that own the exchange. Exchange is the market that people treat the options, treat the future or treat the stock and then it have actually operate 12 regulated exchange and marketplace including all those different uh, financial product like options okay, the business model is ICE is the largest exchange operator in the world and then it runs 7 cash exchange and 5 future exchange across the global and then they have the energy future and options, agriculture and matter financial future and options and then cash equities, fixed income and so on so that their product is actually really diversified so we have to look at the revenue segment so they have three big revenue segments the first one is the exchange performance okay from the exchange performance you can see that uh, compared to 2021 to uh, 2020 the revenue is actually slightly going down, mainly it's because of the energy side is going down. Uh, so I think that maybe less people treat the energy but, or due to some reason. But you can see that they are they also have the data and connector service and the listing service. This tool is actually increasing. Yeah, so I think it's very good. And then if you compare to 2019, it's actually increasing also. And then the second part of their business is the data service performance. This one is basically they will provide the live data to those the exchange and then the broker. So they will have to subscribe their service to get the live data. So you can see that the uh, live data and, and analysis is actually increasing. And then the other data and the network service also increasing. So I will say that this is a very good business. So the third part is a mortgage technology performance. Uh, this company is not only doing the exchanges, they also make the mortgage loan to the people. So you can see that the mortgage loan uh, compared to the 2020, right, the first quarter in 2021 is actually increasing a lot. They are especially is under this part or original technology. So I would think that if more and more people borrowing the money and then to buy the house then they will have to make the loan with the, uh, this company also the ICE and then ICE is actually have the about 10% of the market share in the housing loan market so this is a history of this company this company is founded in 2000s and then along the way right it acquired actually a lot of the different company the most famous they acquired is in 2013 they acquired the NYSE New York Stock Exchange and then in 2007 they also acquired the New York Board of Trade so with these two then the ISK is allowed to operate the New York Stock Exchange okay so now we know that ICE is a good company and then have a fantastic business model so we will look at the financial to ensure they have the financial uh, healthy so we look at the revenue net income and cash flow from operations from 2016 all the way until 2020 the revenue is actually increasing year on year net income also cash flow from operation also 
So this is a chart version. You can see that this is all the way increasing. So we can know that this company is a fantastic company, generate more and more money year on year. Okay, so we have to look at the company debt. So, so in the debt review, right? Currently, the short term debt is about two millions, and then the long term debt is about fourteen millions. So by looking at all these, the fourth ratio, right? The current ratio is about one. I would say it's okay. Interest coverage ratio is about eight. It's fantastic. Debt servicing ratio is twelve. It's okay. Is the debt to EBITDA is about four. If more than four, will be a bit consider a high. So I would say that they are actually taking more and more debt. I think maybe in the last year the interest rate is very low so their management may be taking more debt to grow the business so after looking at the financial then we look at the what is analysis think about the future growth rate so in the past five years the fin with yahoo finance simply was street and jack.com their average growth rate is about 12.89 percent and then they are pretty sure for the next five years, the uh, average is about 8.9%, which is pretty close. And then I think will be the more reliable. And then this is a history of the compound annual growth rate. You can see that since 2006 until 2020, it is fantastic. All the way, it's like their, their chart, all the way is going out in the uptrend also. Yeah, so growth rate is very really fantastic, no problems. So in the on equity, I would say it's very flat. You can see that uh, from 2018, it's about 11% until last year. So it's very predictable, very stable company. Okay, so we have to know if this company currently overvalued or not. By using the actual value calculator, we get the final intrinsic value is about $117. And then I also look at other sources like the Morningstar and Simply Wash It. Their intrinsic value is also very close to what inside my intrinsic value calculator. So I can say that the intrinsic value is around 117. So current price is around 114. So I will say that currently ICE is in the fair value, but it's not really under value. It's in the fair value. Okay, by looking at the chart, right, you can see that uh, this green line is the uh, intrinsic value. So currently, the price is going down. This, the orange color is a 100 MA. So it's look like bouncing. There is a bullish pin bar. So I will say that you can start to buy a bit if you want. And then I will say that uh, for those people who can wait longer, no hurry. Can wait for the price to go down a little bit more go to this black color support level then you can buy more from there okay thanks bye bye